If you've tried out the Reincubate Camo Studio application that allows you to turn your iPhone into a web camera that's better than anything else on the market, then you might be curious about what's different between the free version and the paid. In this review, I'm going to show you exactly what the differences are to help you decide whether the paid version is for you. If you are considering the paid version, there is a 15% off discount link in the description below this video. So we've got the free version loaded up here and you might notice that the image is a little bit overexposed. So keep note that I do have external lights set up and if I turn them off, you'll see a big difference. Hey Google, turn off the studio lights. So that's actually not bad considering that there's no other light in here other than the screens that are in front of me. So you can expect that you're gonna get much better quality out of this setup than any web camera on the market. Let's turn the lights back on. Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. So what can you do with the free version? The first thing that we're gonna check out is this menu here where we can switch a lens between the wide 1.0X and the selfie which I always recommend using the rear facing camera because you're gonna get better video quality with that one. So let's stick to that. You still get 720p HD resolution and honestly it looks pretty good considering that it's only 720p, probably better than most web cameras. We can't change anything else here. There's also some presets, I'll let you play with those. You can set those up if you wanna use them. Now one thing you might be surprised to discover is that under this watermark on the right hand corner here, we can go under watermark and we can actually select none, enabling you to remove the watermark with the free version of the application. So let's do the paid upgrade and I'm gonna show you what's possible with that version. All right, the first thing that I wanna do, one of the reasons why I like the paid version is the light adjustments. So we're gonna turn on the exposure setting and I'm gonna leave the shutter speed at one over 60 but I can reduce the ISO, which dials it in pretty good. And then we've got white balance, so we can actually change the temperature, look and feel of our video to make it whatever you feel is gonna look the best. We're looking for something natural here. I'm not gonna mess with the tint. I can turn on the flash level, which is kind of cool. So you can turn that on if you don't have the best lighting and adjust the brightness level of it. Next up, we have image adjustments, brightness, hue, saturation, contrast, gamma, and sharpness. I have found that you don't really need to try and change any of the stuff. You can play with those if you want to, but I really don't think that that's a compelling reason why you may want to actually get the upgrade. Primarily, one of the most important upgrades that you get is with the portrait mode. So we can turn this on and now we can have the software in the iPhone simulating a blurry background, also known as bokeh effect. I think it's pretty cool. You can dial this in, you can turn it up, you can turn it down using this meter here. And that is a, a pretty cool feature you might wanna check out. You'll notice there's a little bit of like a halo effect and it's not perfect, but it works pretty good. And if you really don't want your background showing up because you just don't have anything set up back there, then this is a worthwhile feature to check out. Let's go back to normal. And the next thing we can do is we can actually, there's autofocus now. We can use manual focus as well, which is pretty cool. So could we accomplish a background blur using the manual focus? From what I can see, yes, you can get a very subtle bokeh effect here just by dialing in this setting. So that might be a better way for you to do it. Just keep in mind it is based on how much distance there is between you and your background. Now we can switch it back down to 720p, but I think it looks pretty good with 1080p. And I'm actually surprised that that 720 looks as good as it does. So let's leave it on 1080. Another setting here, mirror my video so we can reverse this and it actually reverses the text as well, so I'm gonna turn that off. Get any value? Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, I really appreciate it. And we can rotate our video if we need to, we can go upside down, whatever you wanna do with that. Now we can actually zoom with either the telephoto lens or we can use the zoom feature down here. So we can dial this in a bit 
And the cool thing with this is if you don't have like a background really that you want to have set, you can crop in your image here and set up the frame exactly how you want it. So if you can remove the Camo Studio watermark in the free version, why might you consider upgrading to the paid one? For me, I love having access to the lighting controls, changing the exposure, the ISO, white balance is really handy to have. It helps you dial in that quality, which is one of the reasons why you would even want to use this application. The other thing is being able to control the focus. So you can set up a slight background blur, just like you see here, or you can even try out the portrait mode. The developer is constantly updating this application, coming out with new features. So it's really well supported and they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you have zero risk of trying this application out. You can get a refund if you don't like it. Although I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with how well it performed. If you'd like to get a discount code, there is a link in the description below for 15% off. If you'd like a step-by-step -step setup tutorial, check out this video up here. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching this and I can't wait to see you creating a big impact with your videos.